Yo, what's up family of the Metro Captain Society? Today I'm going to be doing a QC guide on the Palace Triferk Tees. This guide specifically applies to the Tees. Although some things may also apply to the Tees and Crunex, there's a few important differences, so I'll be making that into a separate guide. Let's get right into it, gamer guys and girls. Buckle your 50 yuan roller coaster belts and we'll be off. Uh, before we start, I'm going to give you guys a rundown on the brand, just in case you've come across this video and have no context. Uh, Palace is a skate brand, it was founded in 2009. It's definitely been on the rise in the past few years, and for that reason it's considered hype. Um, it's mostly compared with Supreme. It gained most of its popularity because it was worn by some celebrities like Justin Bieber, Rihanna, Kanye West, Jay-Z, ASAP Rocky. All of the usual suspects. Um, so now you know a bit of the background, let's get into the guide. The first thing we're going to learn how to QC is the print itself. Um, what I mean by this is the huge logo on the back and sometimes the identical logo on the front. So let's start by familiarizing ourselves with the Palace Skateboards logo, which is the original Triferg that these T designs are based off. As we're looking at this logo, there's a few things to note. Something you've probably heard before is check the spacing between the letters L and A on the logo. To make it easier to explain, I'm just going to circle this part here. I want you to pay close attention to how they're touching, but there's still a small gap in the top part. You'll also see that the font itself is kind of thick, and the gaps in the P's and the A's are quite small. Studying this logo is key, because once you're familiar with the font, it should be really easy to notice minor changes. Um, now we've done that, we're going to look at an example of legit palace tee. This is the tri-shadowed tee. It's pretty similar to the OG logo, so it should be easy for me to demonstrate my point. As I bring it up here next to the palace logo we first looked at, you'll see that the font is the exact same. It's kind of thick, the LA are touching, and the text placement around the triangle is consistent. Uh, trigger warning, I'm about to show you a poor quality replica that I've seen on the Fashion Rep sub. This is the type of accuracy you should expect when you purchase from low tier sellers such as King Shop 5 or any seller which has Palace Life in the listing title. Although I'm hoping most of you can see issues already, I'm going to pull it up next to the retail logo just so we can get a comparison of the two fonts. Uh, straight away you'll see that the letters are kind of skinny the L has a restraining order on the A, and the gaps in the P's are especially large. Um, to most of you, the difference is laughable, however some people on the sub have the phrase wear with confidence ingrained into their heads. This means that they will suffer social death as they wear their 40 yuan paper thin King Shop 5 Trifergs to school. Anyway, so moving on, let's try another Trifurg. This one is slightly harder to QC because it doesn't follow the same format as other Trifergs. This is the P3T, and as you can see, the text is the triangle. Don't let that throw you off though, because we can still use the same methods to QC it. As I pull up the retail trifurg next to it, you'll see that once again it is the exact same font, just bigger. Just like the last one, the gaps in the P's are quite small, relative to the size of the letters themselves, and we still have to check that the L and A are touching, with a slight gap at the top. Now we've gone through those steps, We'll look at another budget replica that I found on Fashion Reps. This replica is slightly better than the first one we looked at, but still horribly inaccurate and barely even close to the original font. The gap in the P is supposed to be a semicircle, however in this replica, the gap is closer to a rectangle or some sort of trapezium. The L and A once again aren't touching, which is a very well known flaw in the streetwear community. If you're trying to QC your palace replica and it looks like the two example tees that I've shown, please do not bother going through the next stages of the video because they likely do not matter. Wearing the tee with confidence is a bad idea, and you should instead have confidence that you will not wear the tee. If your tee passes the checks we just did, we're going to go into the next type of check which helps identify even some of the higher quality replicas from the likes of UNHS and Dopass 7. This type of check is performed in the neck area of the tee. Therefore, if you're using an agent to purchase the tee, and you really care about the neck tag print, you will need to purchase high definition close-ups of the tag. 
Okay, so here are two examples of legitimate triferg neck tags. We'll note some things about them, and then we'll look at some replicas. Although it's not really a common flaw anymore, there is a flaw that exists in older reps where there's a line connecting the center of the P to the stem. I'll draw what I mean on the screen. So yeah, it would look something like this. If your T has this line, it's probably not that great of a replica. The second thing we'll note is the font used to state the size of the t-shirt. On screen now, I'll show you what the legitimate font should look like. Here we go. If your letters look like this, then it's one of the more high-end replicas. You can pause here and try and memorize the font, or you can continue and we'll try and identify what the replica fonts can look like. The next thing we're looking at here is the spacing between the top of the print and the stitching at the neck. As I draw an arrow, you should easily be able to tell there's a gap between these two. An issue with some of the lower end and higher end reps that still exist to this day is the lack of spacing between the collar and the tag. I've even had tees from Dopas 7 in previous reviews that overlap. This doesn't happen with retail. It should never overlap. And finally, let's look at a replica example. Here is the Dopas 7 Peace Love and More tee neck tag from the previous review about it on this channel. As you may be able to tell, it's one of the better replicas out there, as it has an accurate font for the size, doesn't have a line through the P, and although the neck print is too high, it's not quite overlapping as some do. When you're QCing your item, you shouldn't really return it over a neck tag spacing flaw. It's minor and sometimes unavoidable when buying certain replica trifergs. Here's another neck tag. This one is from the UNHS store, specifically the Sandsverg T. As you can see, UNHS has almost perfected the neck tag. It doesn't have any of the flaws mentioned before, so you can only really LC it using the wash tag QC stage I'll discuss next. As you can see, the neck tag size font is fine and the spacing between the print and the collar is acceptable. The final stage in the QC process is the wash tag stage. Wash tags are still hit or miss on replica trifergs. Even the best stores you can get them from may have errors in the wash tags. These can come in many forms, but I'm going to go over the main ones that stand out. It's hard for me to go over very specific things to check because Retail Palace has gone through multiple revisions of their wash tag design over the years. For that reason, we're going to be looking at the two things that haven't really changed. The triferg that is printed on the wash tag, and the name of the T which is printed on the reverse of the wash tag. Looking at this Retail wash tag from the front side, you can see that the triferg looks very clean and the LA are touching. Similarly to how we checked the back print in the previous stages, we can see that the Trifug font looks good and there are no issues. A lot of recent Palace reps have fixed issues with the clarity and boldness of the text, but still slip up in the back of the wash tag where the name of the specific T is mentioned. For example, in this image of a retail Trifug, the wash tag clearly states the name of the T. However, as you'll see in a minute when we look at the replica wash tag, it's not uncommon to see a slight typo. Okay, so as I said, here's an example of a replica Triferg wash tag. As you can see, the Triferg font is pretty much perfect. The text is bold enough and it looks quite crisp if you ignore the fading. The fading is from washing the T, but here, as you'll see on the other side, it says Pain T. This wash tag is actually connected to a Peace Lover More T, so it's not a typo, but it's actually the wrong tag. If you're thinking about buying a legitimate palace tee, make sure you check this because it's a common point of failure with the high-end convincing reps. This issue persists on the most high-end palace replica stores, especially Dopas 7. Anyway guys, thank you for sticking with me for this monster of a guide. I hope I helped some of you with your palace QCs. If you learned something new, please subscribe to the channel as it would really help me out. The recent support I've received has been very motivational and I want to continue to give back to the community that helped me when I was a beginner also. Metro capping out, please leave any suggestions, comments or feedback down below. Like and subscribe.